I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about belly fat again. There are several things that we can do. The one thing I can tell you about losing belly fat, there are no shortcuts. There are no fat diets that can burn the belly fat off you. There are no extreme workout programs that can burn the belly fat off you and keep it off. Maybe a fat diet or a fat exercise program may help you reduce a couple of inches, but guess what? They're not sustainable. The moment you stop the fat, you put it all back on. So today what I want to introduce you to is a concept called NEAT exercises. Okay, now what NEAT stands for? N is non, E is exercise, A is activity, and T is thermogenesis. Okay, these are non-exercise activity thermogenesis. What this means are what this means is what are the little activities that you can do in between your day over and above your workout that can induce something called thermogenesis. What is thermogenesis? The body's ability to burn fat even when we're sitting, even when we're not doing too much. You see, most of us are in the mentality today that we do our one hour workout and that's it, we're done for the day. Now, this would be great if we were also active, but most of us do our one hour workout and then we're sedentary for the rest of the day. We have a sitting job, then we're watching Netflix or whatever it is, so that one hour doesn't hold its value anymore. Yes, it's great for your heart and your lung capacity, maybe for your muscle building, but when it comes to burning belly fat and excessive uh, body fat that you're carrying, now what we can do is add something called neat movements. What are some examples of neat movements? And all of this doesn't cost you money. So whether your workout time is 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour, what can you do over and above that? Let me give you a simple example. Okay. Uh, 20 minutes post my breakfast, 20 minutes post my lunch, and 20 minutes post my dinner, I plan a call. It could be a call with my family, it could be a call with a client or whatever it is. So I know that 20 minutes post my meals, I am going to walk and take that call. So if I have one call, which could be 15 to 20 minutes, I take that call walking, pacing up and down. So I automatically get an additional 15 to 20 minutes after my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. Now that's an example of a neat movement. Those steps that I get are over and above my normal workout. What else can I do? I have a simple rule every one hour, okay, between my patients, I will do maybe 25 squats, maybe I'll do two Surya Namaskars, maybe I'll do 10 jumping jacks, whatever it is that I wanna do, but these are neat movements as well. So you see, you have a one hour workout or a 30 minute or a 45 minute, but you're still doing something over and above that. What else could it be? Even while you're cooking, you could have neat movements. In between bending down, you know, taking out a vessel from your cupboard, stretching, putting it up. These are all neat movements that induce thermogenesis. Any movement will help you burn excess calories. So how can we build neat movements into our life to support our fat burn? Because think about it. With neat movements, maybe you burnt an additional 100 calories. Multiply that by seven days in a week. Multiply that by four weeks in a month. Multiply that by 12 months in a year. It adds up to a lot of calorie burn. So you know, when you sneak in those ex extra cookies or those cupcakes and all of that stuff, your neat movements are the movements that can help you to kind of negate that effect. So if we wanna build in more neat movements, there are so many other things you, you, you do. You know, park your car further away from your normal spot so you have to walk a couple of extra steps. If it's a short distance that you can walk instead of taking your bike, you know, your motorbike, walk. If you wanna buy a cycle, cycle. These are also neat movements. In between the day, you may just wanna dance for 10 minutes, dance for five minutes, dance every three hours for 10 minutes to your favorite song. These are neat movements that you can have. If you like watching Netflix and movies, that's also fine. But every 20 to 30 minutes, <clears throat> stand up, you know, sit in a squat position, stand up, stretch while you're still watch watching. You know, these things seem funny but they're 100% doable. So you can still watch your TV, but you can stretch. You could be sitting and watching, but you could be doing stretches, shoulder stretches, arm stretches, pulling your knee towards your chest, putting it back down, because even stretching is a neat movement. Even stretching. You have a sitting job, fine, you can't get up every one hour, that's fine. You can sit in your chair and you can stretch. Every stretch also induces thermogenesis. So the process of NEAT, the process of NEAT is to burn extra fat, burn extra calories. Now, this is not an excuse for, for you to eat more. So let's say that you have more neat movements, so you say, now let me have a cupcake or let me have a cookie every single day. That's not gonna negate it. 
Simple. You reach the airport, you're waiting for your flight. Whether you're traveling business first or economy, you still have a wait at the airport. What do you do? Do you sit or can you walk? Because you know that you're going to be sitting for a flight for the next one hour, two hours, or 15 or 16 hours. So at least walk up and down the airport, get some more steps, which is why tracking your step count is so important for you. Okay, the 10,000 steps, there's no magic in the number, but it's a nice indicator because you can't get 10,000 steps in a one hour workout or a one hour work, walk. So to get 10,000, you need to be active throughout the day. Now that's a beautiful, neat movement as well. So when you track your steps and you know that you've gotten 10,000 steps or even 9,000 or 11,000 at the end of the day, you know that you've achieved more calorie burn than normal if this is over and above your workout. So there are so many different things that you can do. You know, even doing a simple yoga asana every one hour because you know, when we sit, our hip flexors that kind of uh, get tight, our hamstrings get tight, and then we have lower back problems. So just get into a cat and camel position, into a cobra position, you know, do a downward dog, an upward dog, whatever it is. But these little movements are neat movements and they induce thermogenesis. And when the more neat movements you get, I know people who are burning an additional 400 calories with their neat movements in a day. So they have their one hour workout where they probably burn about 200 to 300 calories. And then over and above that, you're burning in another 350 to 400 calories. So you are gonna go into calorie deficit, which is required for you to burn fat without starvation and without feeling hungry. You know, you finished your dinner, go and wash your own plate. It may take you two to three minutes, but that's movement again. So how many movements over and above your workout can you add to your daily, to your daily regime? Wake up in the morning, you know, just do a child pose, hold that, touch your toes, stretch upwards, go brush your teeth. That's a neat movement as well. Even right before you go to sleep, do a child pose, stand up, stretch, because stretching, light stretching can also induce better sleep, but it's a neat movement. So it is so important for you to find what you can do. Most of us can take our phone calls walking up and down. Most of us can do. That's a great, neat movement. Just imagine if you have an average of about five to six you know, calls in a day that you can take pacing, and each of those calls are 15 to 20 minutes. Great, neat movements, great calorie burn. So if you're looking at it burning that additional fat, forget about just fat burn. This is great for fat burn. If you're just looking at staying healthy, the more movement we have, the healthier we are especially as we age more and more, especially to prevent osteoporosis, especially to build great bone health. Any senior citizen out there, if you are blessed with healthy legs and you can move, please move more. If you wanna age with lesser disease, with lesser suffering, with stronger bones, so even if you have that fall, you don't crack your bones and you don't have to be bedridden. Walk, 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 stay active, stay active, stay active. Yes, you have servants and drivers. It doesn't mean you have to be lazier. Give your servants and drivers out of work, but you also stay active. Try to do most of your own personal chores yourself. This is for your own health. It's not an ego thing. Make your own bed. That's a neat movement as well. Make your own bed. That's a neat movement. So now you, you sit down and make a list of all the neat movements you can add and induce thermogenesis over and above your workout. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. Oh, one more point. You can be the busiest person in the world, but you can still make time for neat movements and you can still make time for a 30-minute workout, if not a 45-minute or if not a one-hour workout. It's up to you. It's where you choose to put your time. It's where you choose to put your energy and it's where you choose to put your priority and value. You either value your work more than you value your health. That becomes your priority choice. Or you value your health and you value your work and then you have a balance. Have a great day, everyone.